In this video, I'm going to show you how to design a travel flyer like this in Photoshop. And this is coming up. Hi everybody, Innocent here and welcome to the channel. Over here, we make videos like this. If that is something that sounds like you're interested, kindly consider subscribing. Inside the description will be a link to download all the resources that I'll be using. So you may decide to download them and practice. And if you're able to practice, you can send it over to Instagram so that I'll cross check for you. And just so you know, this is an actual trip that is coming on. I'm partnering with Efia Kimura to organize this trip. So if you want to join, you may contact the details that I will leave on the flyer. I'll be very glad to travel with you. So let's jump right into the video. So here in Photoshop, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a new document so ctrl plus n to create a new document and then we are going to choose let's say we go to print and then we can choose say a4 now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to bring in a background so you go to file place embedded and then you can bring in your background so these are the resources so the first background that i'm going to bring in is the keep three points which is one of the places that we will be visiting so once you bring your background in, you can scale it up like that to cover the entire part that you want it to cover. So I can go something like that. So right click and go to rasterize layer. So we are going to go to filter, blur, and then we are going to blur this out a little bit. So you can increase the blurness, something like that should be fine. And then you can click on OK. So you can press Ctrl T and open it some more. We want more of the waters so let's make this a bit popping as it's very dull and not really pleasing so we are going to select the levels ctrl l for that and then we are going to drag it from the right side to the left side to open it up slightly like that and then we can press ctrl u to activate the hue and saturation and add some saturation to it as well we can even go to the blur and then add a couple of blur to it or we can blur it some more like so and then you can click ok now once this is done let's go and choose a rectangle to over here let's create a rectangle around this place so we are going to double click on the layer thumbnail and we are going to change this to the color white now you may decide to push it to any part that you want to push it so let's say this place should be fine let's go into our resource so file and then place embedded and then we have this torn paper effect we are going to double click on that to open it in photoshop now let's try to open it some more like that and we are going to place it at the very edge of the rectangle that we created so you can open it something like this and place it right on top here i just make sure that it is above the rectangle that you created so and then you take your time to position it something like that should be fine just so you don't get confused you can group these two the rectangle and the torn paper so that anytime you want to move them it will be moving together so this is going to serve as the background pretty simple right now let's go ahead and add the images so for the images we are going to put them in a rounded rectangle or a circle so let's first create one circle over here ellipse hold shift and then you can create a perfect circle like this and then you are going to make sure that it is positioned in the middle so control a and then you are going to center it like that you can push it up here any color at all that you give it will be fine because you're just going to clip mask our images into this now let's go to file and then place embedded and then we are going to place our image so the first image that i'm going to place is this one right over here it is going to be right on top of this but we want it clip mask into the ellipse so we can right click on it and create clipping mask now it fits the image perfectly like this you can press ctrl t to even transform it slightly like that and then you can position it somewhere around here now let's select the ellipse right click on it and go to blending options and then we can add a stroke to it so we are going to add a stroke to it and then we are going to increase the size slightly like that this is going to be our first ellipse so we can select that plus the picture and then we can group that now once this is grouped we can press ctrl t and transform it slightly like this make sure that it is centered so ctrl a and center it and then we are going to make duplicate of these ones to make the duplicate you press ctrl j and then you can drag it to the left side and then you make one more duplicate ctrl j and then you can drag it to the right side 
now we are going to select the two duplicates that we made and then we are going to drag it underneath of the original one you can even do this by holding control and then using the square bracket so it comes right underneath of it now we don't want all of them to be on the same line so we can bring these ones slightly down a bit like that i think this place looks fine and what we are going to do from here is we are just going to edit the images in these ones since they are already grouped you just right click on the image select the image that you want to edit and then you can delete that now you can go into your resource files place embedded and then you can bring in the next picture that you want to bring so we are going to bring in this one and then it pretty much follows the same procedure so you right click and then you can create clipping mask press ctrl t and then you can resize it to the size that you want so I think this should be fine now for any image that you bring in you may want to add some adjustment to it if the image doesn't look very fine for you so you can add levels to it you can add curves also so Control m to do that and then you can also add hue and saturation to it that is Control u to do that so i'm going to do the same thing for this one now once we are all set so we realize that the ellipse starts from here so we can select all of them so we select the first one hold shift and then you can select the last one and then we can group all of that and call it the images so that we don't get confused now we can press ctrl a and make sure that that is centered and we can also transform it slightly if that feels too big for us so anytime you make the transformation just make sure that it is centered and at this point i can bring my rectangle here a bit and then bring my images down a bit because we want to add test to it the first step that we have is if you are camera so we copy that back into photoshop you are going to pick our test tool and then you are going to go with any font that you want but you know poppins works for me a lot so i'm going to pick poppins and then i'm going to paste the font over there now i'm going to make sure that it is center aligned so that anytime we make changes to it it isn't going to be a problem you can press ctrl t and open it up slightly so that you can see it very well and then you can take your time to position it now let's double click on that select all of it and then we are going to give it a color now the color let's go with something a bit darker so that it can be seen and then we can click ok and then ok from here so for the next test we're going to use a font called hustler so i'm going to leave all the links in the description if you want to download that and then we are going to paste our test over there we press ctrl t and then we can open it to be very big like that so you open it up like that and then you can press ctrl a to center it as well now let's bring this down slightly like this and then we are going to just change the color to white this color looks good but i don't want all of them to be like one way color so let's change this to white right click on it and go to the blending options and then we are going to add a shadow to it so let's select our shadow and then you can increase your shadow a bit as well as you can play along with the opacity and all that so you choose the one that fits very well for you according to the background that you are using now let's quickly make a duplicate of the heading so ctrl j to do that you can bring it over here we can select that and replace it with the date now let's select all of that and change the color to white as well and if it is poppins medium let's make it semi bold or bold and then you can press ctrl a to center that as well and bring it down slightly over here that means we still need to push this down slightly like that this looks okay now the rest of the information are going to be where we are going to visit and the contact details and the pricing and all that so let's quickly start from that so we can group all of these and call it the test now let's select the rectangle tool and create a very nice small rectangle over here we go to the layer thumbnail and then we can change the color to something dark like this particular color over here let's click ok so we have the places to visit so let, let me just quickly copy that i'm going to select my font and if you want to write in the rectangle you don't write directly into the rectangle so you hold shift so that you can write in the rectangle we are not going to use hustler we are going to back to poppins and this time semi bold now let's change that to places to visit and the color is going to be white and we click ok 
Now I press Ctrl T and then you can transform it. That means the rectangle is too much for us. So select the rectangle, press Ctrl T and then you can close it up slightly like that. So we are going to pick our text tool again and then we are going to paste the places that we are going to visit. Let's select all of that and make sure that it is left aligned. And then we are going to give it a color. We are using this same color right over here. And then you click OK. So for these ones, you are not going to use the semi bold. You are going to use medium. You can bring it over here. Press Ctrl T and then you can transform it slightly like that to make it bigger. If the spaces are too much for you, you can select your test tool, open the toggle character. You can select all the tests and then you can open it up from here. So we want to keep it around 25 and that is fine. Okay, so we are going to add some bulletin to it. And to do that, you are going to select the ellipse tool. So you select your ellipse tool, hold shift, and then you can create a very simple, perfect ellipse like that. And then we are going to change the color to the same color of the background here that we are using and click OK. You can even make it a bit bigger if that is what you want. Now we are going to push it slightly over here. Press Ctrl J to make a duplicate. And then we can press Ctrl J to make one more duplicate like that. Now we have all these set. So we can select all of these ones and call it the places to visit. So we can make a duplicate and drag it slightly over here. And then we are going to change that to another set of tests. So we change this one to package includes. So that is going to be the whole package. All that you are going to have. Okay. Now we can make a duplicate of that one also and bring it over here. And that means that we need to actually make adjustments over here. So let's select all the three and try to close it up slightly like that. Let me push this up a bit. So we are going to edit this place to side attraction. And then at this point, we don't really need the ellipse over here or the bulletin. So we can delete all of these ones and then edit the whole of these ones. So we select all of them edit that into the side attraction so you can place that one over here to make it look more attractive and that is basically what is going to be the activities and everything that is going to go on don't forget that this is an actual program that is coming on so you may want to join now let me quickly go to view and go to new guideline to add a guideline so that i can see exactly the middle of this whole flyer so this is going to be one part this is going to be the other part so for the other parts, we are first going to add the number of slots available and the payment details. So we have 15 slots available and then I'm going to copy that. I'm going to select my test and then I'm going to, we are using popping bold. So I'm going to paste it right over there. I'm putting this in red color because it is very important to notice just so people would know exactly the number of people you need on this trip. And that is important because maybe the trip is not open for everyone. So you take your time to position it and then you can make one more duplicate, bring it down slightly over here. And then we are going to edit that to the Momo or the payment method. So payment method, let's edit or change that color. So we select the entire test. And we are going to change that color to the color that we are using. So underneath of that place, we are going to create a rectangle. That is where we are going to put the name in. So we create a rectangle and then we are going to give the color the same color theme that we are using. So right over here and you click OK. And then we can make a duplicate of this test Control J and drag it on top of the rectangle. So you make sure that it is on top of the rectangle. And then we can edit that name to the name of the momo pay payment or the payment method so let's select that and change the color to white so that you can see it clearly over here so if you are interested in being a part of this trip you can hit this number up to make further inquiries so let's make one more duplicate and drag it over here and bring in the test that says that payment by installment allowed so you can push that also over there or paste it over there so we can select all of these ones and group it we call it the info so info over here press ctrl t and then you can transform it slightly to make it a bit bigger like that now the next thing we're going to add is the contact details i mean the actual contact details so to do that 
I'm going to create a rectangle underneath of these ones. So let me create the rectangle over here. Not so big, but slightly bigger. And then we can give it a color like so. Now let me drag it to the line very neatly. Right click on the layer and go to rasterize layer. Now we are going to choose our polygonal lasso tool. So you can start from here, you left click, you hold shift and then it is going to create this perfect diagonal line for you. And then you can come back to the point that you started and then delete that part. So this way you are going to have a very nice rectangle like this for your information that is going to contain your information. I mean, you can even decide to bring it in here in case your information is many. So let me just borrow this test control J and then let me bring it on top here. And now I can drag it to this very side. So we quickly put the next test over there. And this also is very important. So let's change the color to red so that it's easily noticeable. And then we can bring this one over here in the middle. We are going to make one more duplicate like that and then bring it on top here. Change the color to the color white and click OK. And then we are going to paste the test over there. So select the test and then paste it right over here. We are going to press Ctrl T to transform it slightly like that and then position it somewhere around here. And then we are going to add the social media icons to it. So you go to file, place embedded, and then we have a call icon and then the WhatsApp icon. So we are going to bring in our call icon, take your time to transform it. And then you can position it over here. Let me just zoom in and then you can right click on this, rasterize it, right click again and go to the blending options and we change the solid color or the color of it. So color overlay and then we are going to give it a color white so that it can be seen from the background that we are putting it on. So the reason why it didn't show up is because my blend mode is set to linear burn and I'm going to change that to normal and click OK. Now we are going to bring in our WhatsApp because that line is also the WhatsApp line so you can bring it over in here. But if your lines are different, if the two lines are different altogether, you can do it separately for all of them. So this time you take your time to position it as well. And then you can quickly go to the call icon, hold alt and drag the effect onto the WhatsApp icon as well. And it is going to apply the effect on it. Now select the two icons and then you can drag it slightly here and the next thing we're going to add is the social media handles so you pick your test tool and then you can paste your social media or you type in your social media handles over there like that you can press ctrl t to transform it to make it a bit smaller because you are going to insert icons as well and then you can use the tab key to open it up slightly so that the icons the social media icons can be in there so we go to place embedded and then we can bring in our first social media icon. So we don't want the white in here. So you can select the white and then delete it, delete this too. And then we can hold alt, drag the effect of the WhatsApp icon onto it. And then we are good to go. So now you take your time to position it. The next one is going to be the email icon. So you can contact any of these contact details if you want to join the group. Now the last thing we're going to add will be the pricing. So you go to file and then place embedded and then you can bring that shape in here as well. So the first shape is going to be here and then we are going to place it over here. I'm going to right click on it, rasterize it and I'm going to give it a gradient overlay. So let me just make a gradient overlay from here and then I'm going to give it this gradient overlay, the green and the black, something similar to the backgrounds that we are using. And then you can click OK and then OK from here. Now let's press Ctrl T and open it up some more like so. And then we can make one more duplicate. So Ctrl J and this time around, we don't want the gradient on these ones. So we can right click on it and go to clear layer style. What we are going to do is we are going to press Ctrl T on the cleared one and then we are going to flip it slightly like that. Now this is the effect that we are having. Okay. So we are going to put our rate in there. So you pick your test tool and then you can put rate over here. We are going to choose the color over here from this side. 
or even this particular color click ok now make a duplicate drag it over here and then you are going to put the rate over there so it's going to be in ghana cities and it's going to be 450 ghana cities so you can press ctrl t and then transform it slightly like that and then we can group from the shape to the rate and call it the rate over here and then we can group from the email also to the rectangle that we created and call it the contact details now in between the whole of these ones we just want to create a very simple rectangle so you pick your rectangle to create a very simple rectangle and then you can change the color to this same color that we are using and then you can position it over here now we want this to match up with the top here and then this can also go up so you hold shift to do that so you position it over here slightly like that and when you turn off the grid line this is what we have and yeah basically that way it's we just created a travel flyer you can of course get different backgrounds for this to actually experiment to see what works best for you and try out different things and if you really want to join me on a trip this is the time for you you can send hi to any of the contacts that you see on the screen right now i hope this video was helpful if it was a subscribe to the channel will be so very much appreciated and i can't wait to explore with you on this trip thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye